safer6.co.uk sponsors of the haze hour and indeed it is it's thursday yes it's five to five no it's not five to five it's now the day with cracker jack is it <laughs> on this hot evening it's a warm evening it's 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 mott and huggy no hot and muggy Mott and Huggy is something entirely different. Dan, we'll not expand on that because Daz has just come back from Cyprus and we know what they like over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So that brought it rattled your teeth, didn't it? Yes. I had to go and pay a visit to the dentist on your return. Hey, right? see? Which, which makes you wonder what the hell are they being getting up why? to in Cyprus. Why didn't you go in Cyprus? Well, nobody told me. There were stones and olives when I went there. Really? In olives what? Oh, stones and olives. <laughs> in olives what? In olives? Oh, olives the fruit? Yes. Oh, Are the fruit? I thought there'd been a change. Oh. Well, there is seed, I don't know. <laughs> well, you, you never know with these things, do you? They take it's the stones out. But nobody told me that. Oh, you can get proper little things where you pull a handle and it pushes a, it pushes a, it pushes a thing through a hole. Well, I don't eat them. They're horrible things. Oh, I love olives. They're gorgeous. Mm. They're brilliant. Absolutely mm. better than bloody vanilla custard juice, that's for sure. <laughs> That stuff stinks. Is that, that what you're having then with that Yes. He is, aye. He's yes, given it. it it's that's ASIG related, you know. It is. It is. Maybe we should do a television show about ASIG, should we? Well, it might be a, 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 bad, know, a bad idea. idea. we we'll do that, shall we? Yes. Because this will be the last time oh, the three course. stooges are together before September. Yes. Aye. We're having a month off, Keith. A month off? No, no, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you two aren't having a month off. How's that? No, no, you've got to travel down to Sutton. Down to uh, Surrey, Sutton in Surrey, oh, which is where right. Gary Dibley lives. Oh, the shed head. Oh, yeah. no, the shed head. So you've shed got to you've head. got to go down to Gary and do the show from there. Oh, Had we not really? told you? No, no. Oh, no, we'll that's discuss. Never been mentioned. We'll discuss it? it while the titles play, shall we? All right. <laughs> this is uh, a show called One Three One Three. The, the Here's Hour. hour. Just thinking, if we were running our, our own show, mm -hmm. wouldn't have to listen mm -hmm. week after week after week to that bloody music. I know, bit of bark. Well, yeah, uh, maybe not quite as heavy as bark. No, you know, something no. even Chopin. a bit like. Mm, yes, 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 some background piano yes. music. That, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not even looking at me <laughs> when I said that. <laughs> Yes, there on a D string. Uh, you two worry me. It's got some nice harmonies in it. Yes. What? Air on a G string. Dum, dum, <laughs> dum, 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 He's dum, trying to impress, dum, isn't he? Dum, dum. Where were you? Well, you know. Well, listen to you, because you were doing it so well. We can't get out of our heads that cacophony we'd, of sound. <laughs> we dream about it. Would dream about it. A cacophony of sound. It, it never, it never leaves my head all evening. It makes me bilious. I am loving your do words tonight. You like, do you like that music? What? Uh, what are you vaping? <laughs> sorry. I I'm, mean, di this, this I'm digressing. I'm sorry. <laughs> digressing. There's words yes. coming out here. I've never heard in a cacophony. Million. That's another word. Cacophony. <laughs> anyway, look. Yes. Shall we? We'll yeah, do, yeah, let's do it, something. Yes. And, and straight away. Because we did promise pre-show that we were going to do this. I'm going to go to camera 04, because I have the ability so to do, and just move one of the subjects of tonight's show out of... Out, fall off, why don't you? See if I care. I'll put that there. Mars bars. Mars bars. You like Mars bars? Yes. Right, Mars bars it is. Here we go. Drippity drip, droppity drop. Our audience knows what it is. 
It's Mars bar, is what it says here. Mars bar. Mars bar. That's what it says. It's Mars bar. But is it the real thing? Well, we'll find out. Mars bar juice. Big, you need big lungfuls, does Big lungfuls. Mm. Has the tip fallen out? The tips fell out. Would you like a little one? Yes, please. I'll give you a little one. There you are. It's a bit, it does get a bit, oh, I kind of get an in story in my life. Push hard. There we go. Right, good big long, deep lungfuls is what you want. Can you manage? See if you can't. You're not getting much out? No. How strange. Try harder. Alright. <clears throat> You'll need to listen for the sizzle, of course, so you know it's working. I'm not sure you can palm the button all that well. <laughs> In chili? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, did but you know uh, about this? <laughs> well, everybody it, did. I, I, I thought you might have clicked when he, he never mentioned me. It was just you that was going to. Uh, and I so trusted you. <coughs> well, taste I, like I, didn't know, I didn't know what it was. Mars bar. But I just thought it was something bar, unique sorry. to you. Oh, God. That, <coughs> what is it? It's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it says here, it says it's Martian bar bite extra, 45 milligram. Um, and <laughs> this, this, this <laughs> so you know where it's from. Yes. Yes. Uh, so that's that's what it is. It's Martian bar Bit bite of a extra. Nasty trick, that one. It's not really. I mean, I've I've <coughs> I've been. Yeah, I'm not a great one for sweet flavors, as you know, but mm. I've been talking on it. It's all right. No wrong with that. It's got a bit of a kick. Right. Can we try some? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, uh, I've, I've saw enough of the expression on his face. To, it would be uh, all right for you. Why is that? Because you've had like the the Z something or other eighteen watts when we were coughing with lungs out. You were happily talking on it. It's actually, it's it's all right, Kate. I bet it's good throat it's hit. It's too delicate for my lung. My lungs are too delicate for it. Your lungs are too delicate. I'm yeah. pleased. I'm pleased you've said that. Actually, why is that? Well, we've we'll we, got another one for us. I have actually. <laughs> oh God, right. um, this this one's uh, this one's called chocolate lima. Mm. Lime. Chocolate lime. Chocolate lime. You fancy you try? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right. It's isn't fine, it? isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's just a wimp. <laughs> Mind, Mind you, I didn't. Uh, You've in, got to take a big long fall, Keith. You're just trying to stitch him up now, aren't you? No, you, you exhaled it out your nose before you even did anything. Take did, a long fall. <laughs> Shall I stick it on something with some chuck up its butt? Yeah. I'm going to do it, like, do it. Right. Get out the way. That was in Keith. I'll stick it on something with some chuck up its butt. That's just straightforward 4.2 volts. That's. You know, it's not really gonna make it do anything. So, what do you say it's supposed to taste of? Chocolate. Mars bars. Mars bars. See, I wouldn't have said like with the flavour. <coughs> I wouldn't have said Mars bars. It's yeah, definitely chocolate. But I think anything like that is um, it would be hard to match. I mean, the Snickers was very. Oh enjoyable. yeah, uh, yes. The, the very enjoyable. Yes, it was. It's a bit wet, actually. I must say, I, I haven't yet sensed even chocolate in that. Oh, no, I got the chocolate. Did you? Mm, I definitely got the chocolate. And then I got the aftershock. Yes. Mm. That's what they should call it, aftershock. Aftershock. So is this the same one? Same one, I. Well, we've got to finish that before we put the lime in. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a miss. <laughs> <That's laughs> oh, seriously, Mine. that's um, that packs a punch. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yes. 
Say... <coughs> no. You're I fond don't. of a treat, I mean... I, <laughs> he's he's going to keep on trying. He is, isn't he? I don't get used to it. Go on, give it another one. I think you should. Go on and eat an iron lung. But, uh, He'll develop <laughs> one. What? <laughs> creeps up on you. It's creeping up on you, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little I've unfair. i cork as well. I should perhaps have... Uh, I think we might, need, we might need more cork yeah. with ice. Yeah. Yeah, dry <laughs> ice, liquid nitrogen just to kill you off. Actually, there's a... There's a I'm, I'm pleased you're not happy because I'm going to take it abroad with me. Okay. Um, because I don't know whether you've noticed, and I'm, I'm, I'm watching chat as well, so we'll find out. But I have discovered... And I've said this before, so I don't mind saying it again. If you're outside in warm weather, do you find you don't get the throat hit that you do when you sat inside? Yes. I noticed that while I was away. Yes. Yes. So, it occurred to me, for those occasions when you really want to get a, a mm. blat in the back of the throat, I'm going to take the, uh, the bite extra with me. I mean, I'm not going to use a lot. No. Because, as I say, I'm not really a great chocolate lover or a chocolate oh. lime lover. I'm not a, a sweet juice lover. I'm going to take that with me and drop that into... Take that little drip and that E, actually, because yeah. for a fiver, it's not wrong with it. Yeah. Take that with us. And then when we're sat out around the pool, you know, before you start drinking at half past seven in the morning, then a few blasts of that just to get you set up for the day. Mm. 45 milligram yeah. bite extra yeah definitely yeah that's the stuff I took um, roll of potion with us which tasted a bit <coughs> like love hearts but I found that I was just vaping all the time because I wasn't getting the hit and then I got home and I've got fire and ice in this and um, really wish that I had took that with us now really do uh, hang on a minute I just I just need to say I've, oh, it's gone off who it was but somebody somebody in chat said menthol bite extra for me corner and just no on so many levels that actually the menthol would take the bite extra out of it i think mm. for me but anyway yes let's uh cover a bit of the stuff that we didn't hit last night we'll try the choco lima a bit later on okay are we up for that right yes yeah, yeah. yes right. okay that's good um i would like to bring to everybody's attention a site called e6savelives.co.uk which looks a lot like that. Um, they're doing car stickers and I'm thrilled by this, I have to say. Are you are you aware of this? One of the yeah. one of the things that, that bugs me and has bugged me for the last three months, four months, is that this an estimated 1.3 million vapors in the UK mm. and yet when you look at the online petitions you see figures of five and six thousand and three thousand after two and three four months when we talked about petitions about seven a six and I think bottom line on it is there's a lot of people out there using ACs, whether they're lucky likeies whether they're egos doesn't matter what they are I mean the likes of us using these are in the minority we pretty much know that but I just wonder whether um, the, the the window stickers the car stickers mm. that the a6 saves lives site is coming up with and this is this is where you can get them you can read all about it there look um, if mm. they're in the backs of cars <coughs> that's gonna be a brilliant idea it's going to let people know what ACs are yeah. because I think I've got to say that you know what we're talking about here is winning the hearts and minds of people that are out there mm -hmm. at the moment not enough people know what ACs are no. yeah I think that's a really good idea that's I think it's a brilliant idea now you can donate I know that I'll read out what it says here in case anybody cannot read it <coughs> it says car stickers it says, thanks to the donations we've raised so far, might as well cut to it, we've managed to buy an initial batch of 20,000 car stickers. This is just the start, of course. We need to get the message out there in as many places as possible, and that means more stickers. It also means getting them displayed. So if you don't already have one on your car, 
now is the time to do it and a big thumbs up for that one for me mm. and you yes yeah absolutely Next time you're ordering vaping supplies, ask your vendor if they're participating in the sticker campaign. If so, you can get a free sticker along with your order. If not, you can request your free sticker from ecig saves lives at hotmail.co.uk. If you'd like to help us print even more, you can use the same email address to make a donation through PayPal or simply click the donate button on the right. To help us distribute our new leaflets, use the same address but leave a comment that says leaflets, thank you. Now, I think, I honestly think this is a brilliant idea. Mm. And, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why. In my own experience, and in the experience of one or two people I've been talking to, they've gone to bricks and mortar stores mm. and mentioned the current unpleasantness with the EU. And the, the, the folks running the bricks and mortar stores are blissfully unaware of what's going on. We need to educate our own people, never mind MPs and MEPs. So, uh, sorry, I missed a bit. Who, who's actually doing this? It's the website called eSig Saves Lives. Mm. The prime move is known as Wes. Right. Oh, so it's somebody privately doing this. Oh, That's yes, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. This is, it's not <coughs> AstroTurf. That's really, yeah. that's a really, really good initiative for somebody to take that. Yeah, because you always look, don't you, at the car in front if it's got yeah. some sort of sticker in the back yeah. window, don't you? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, the Absolutely. sort of baby on board, that yeah. kind of thing. Exactly. Uh, exactly. <coughs> well, yes. So, there you go. I mean, if, if everybody that's on all the forums, if there's 20,000 stickers out there, you're bound at some point in time to be stuck on the M25 or the M1 or the A19 mm -hmm. or the M6 or the M8 or the M5 or the B1415 or whatever mm -hmm. behind a car that's got ACCS lives in there. And it, it, this is a funny thing. If you Have you ever watched that fella, what do you call him, Darren Brown, the bloke yes. that cannot spell his first name? Yes. Aye. Uh, and I can't say I have. Oh, fa fabulous! Very clever bloke. He got, he got a, he managed to get a bloke to rob um, a security van just by putting posters up. Right. He, he, and with little words, keywords, and stuff yeah. like that. Same sort of thing is this. Mm. Oh, he right. saves like if people see it enough, yeah. it becomes the truth. Yeah. So, yeah. big, 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 big thumbs up. Get on it, folks. Do it, go for it. It's a brilliant idea. That <coughs> is fantabulous. And I'll be getting some sorted out for when I get back. It's pointless sending off now because I'll be away before mm. they arrive. But do it, do it, do it. And if, you can, if you've got the wherewithal to donate, donate. I, I think we need to see more of this. Yeah, definitely. I think we need to see more of this. Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Very boring saying, don't chase the car. <laughs> don't chase the car and ask where to get the sticker. <laughs> <laughs> ECG saves lives. I'll put it back up one more time. They, whoops, no, wrong camera. Try that one. Boink. ECG saves lives. Take the spaces out. Put .co.uk and uh, I think take a hyphen out, is it? Yes, take the hyphen out. ECG saves lives. .co.uk. Do it today, he said. That was. Uh, there you go. That was a bit of a public service announcement, mm -hmm. yes. wasn't it? Yes. Now, last, did you, did, were, you, were you watching last night? Mm -hmm. I mentioned that uh, there were five people on hunger strike in Italy. And you know people keep on asking, well, does anything we do have any effect? Mm. You yeah. didn't know about this? No. Five Italian vendors, right, to put it all in context, the Italian government had decided, because they needed to be able to fund, I think it was the fire service, the fire, fire engines. Right. They were 35 million euro shy right. of having the money to do it. Because if you remember from a couple of months back, they'd lost 136 million euro because everybody smoking ACs and not smoking tabs, yeah. as we say up here. So they'd lost that amount of revenue really? off their tax, mm -hmm. yes. And they'd, they'd written a, a parliamentary question to the European Union saying, what are you going to do about all the money we've lost? Finally, somebody that's honest. Right? right? We've lost all this money. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. So what they decided to do, they thought, oh, we know. We'll stick a tax on ACIGs 58.5%. Oh, my God. Right? Dear me. <laughs> yeah, exactly quite. 58.5% tax on ACIGs. Now, not unnaturally, the Italians went, <coughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> 
We're not gonna let this happen now. You kind of put the tax on the these things. We're not having this. I'll tell you what's happened. I'm not eating anything. <laughs> right? So they go out in front of the parliament building, five of them, right? Right. Not, you know, not in somebody's house or out the way, in front of the parliament building in Italy. And they go, hell no, this is not going to happen. And uh, that's exactly what has occurred. But it's had results. And hell, and go this back to camera stuff. six. Look at this that was in the news. <laughs> Came out early on 24th of July, which would be yesterday, because the 25th of day. Italy scraps e-cigarette tax plans, it says here. A proposed tax hike on electronic cigarettes was abandoned on Wednesday, yesterday, after fierce opposition from shop owners and smokers. Campaigners successfully argued that the 58.5% hike would threaten around 5,000 jobs alongside the 2,000 e-cigarette shops which have opened in recent years. Failure to implement the tax will however hit jobs in other industries as the government had planned to use the 35 million revenue to avoid cutting prison personnel jobs. That's it, it wasn't fire service, it was prison personnel, <coughs> um, last stamp I reported. Uh, ANAFI, the National Association of Electronic Smoking, welcomed the news, although it said that the tax may still be introduced at a later date. We will continue to protest. This tax is unjust and unbalanced and we ask the government to look at possible alternatives that allow it to make up the necessary revenue, Anafi President Massimiliano Mancini said in a statement. The alternative is the death of a sector that was growing, he added. I think that is fabulous. Yeah, I think it's real, uh, fabulous. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that's incredi incredible, that. And, and if it shows anything at all, it shows that when we all get together with one voice, we can make a difference. Mm. I, I take such a lot of um, encouragement out of that, do you know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, where does that fit in the, in the European context then? Well, now, that's, that's an interesting <coughs> question. Um, where it fits basically is that we've we've shown, or well, the Italians have shown that they're not just going to sit down and take it. I think that's absolutely brilliant. I think it's fabulous. I, agree. I it's, oh god, I'm sorry. I've just got to uh, I've got to mention this. I'm sorry. Um, Maddie Paulus has said, prisoners don't need to vape inside, they have a plentiful supply of illegal drugs to keep them happy. <laughs> but Jeff Benyon is suggesting that the prisoners could use a bobo. <laughs> Might not be easy to get one, yeah. but you never know. The elusive bobo. <laughs> the elusive yes. bobo. And, and Midge Dog has just come up and said, smuggling them in is easy enough, apparently, especially if it's a bobo. We're not going to see any more than that. No. Do you know when you come to think, Sunderland have appointed all these Italian players, yeah. Italian manager. Yeah. You wonder if they smoke e-cigarettes. Mm. Well, there's one way to find out. Not to ask somebody that goes down there, because there's no way I'm going. <laughs> Football? Mad. Are you mad, boy? Anyway, listen, ah, we better yes. take some adverts, and, uh, <laughs> and when, when we come back, when we come back, we're going to talk about the Puri Tank Glassomizer a little bit, live. This will be fun. There's going to be jokes everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be fabulous. Uh, we'll be back right after these messages. Do not go anywhere. See you shortly. I mean. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out.
6. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back live here on Thursday night. It's the 25th of July, currently 9.26 and 14 seconds. And this is the Hayes Hour. I'm Dave Dawn. We've got Keith Herbert and we've got Darren Johnson, otherwise known as Larry, Curly and Mo. The three yeah. stooges were back together. Yes. 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 All good. After a few weeks. Be, uh, before we go into the, the Puritan um look at, I've uh, put the Chocolima 45 milligram bite extra into the uh, the drippy jobby. Are you ready for this, Daz? Not really, but I'll... Are you looking I'll forward to it? Not really, but Go I'll for it, son. Enjoy it. <clears throat> Go for it. Get me out. See, I had my hand ready. <coughs> oh, that's worse than <laughs> the one you got. <laughs> <coughs> my God. <laughs> that's not a vape, that's hell. Do you want oxygen? <coughs> yeah. yeah. Something like that, anyway. If you have an oxygen cylinder in here, <laughs> health and safety. <laughs> Bugging the vice <laughs> would go down well. As well. <coughs> I think he wants a toilet brush down his throat to clean it <laughs> out. <laughs> Oh god, it's like tobacco that's aged for like too long. Oh god. Well, no, I'm not going to try that one. I mean, the look on his face there was even more excruciating. He went red in the face. The line comes through beautifully. It I really bet it does. does. <laughs> I mean, bloody hell. Whips, yeah. Perry. What? <laughs> no, honestly, it's going to take me weeks to get my chest back to all after that. <coughs> oh, my God. I think the... Uh... <laughs> 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 what did you... <laughs> <coughs> Just caught. No, it was the line. Oh. Yes. Mm. Um... No, I, actually, as I say, outdoors, that's going to be fine. I think indoors, it might just be... <laughs> outdoors, <a little> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I shall report back. Should there be any untoward consequences, I shall well, report I think back. If, you, know, you know, I think if you're going to smoke that when you're away, uh, you know, are you going to come back? You know well, what I mean? That's it. That's exactly. It. I, I've, uh, an iron lung. <laughs> I'm, right, look. Let me, let me tell you, it, it, it is definitely an acquired taste. Oh, it kicks like a mule. Yes. It's not something I would suggest any beginner ever tried. You do actually need, with the bite extra, to have the constitution of an ox to be able to handle it. It's little draws. Yes. It's not a big lungful like you would take with the likes, for instance, seamless link, of the Puri Tank. Mm. <laughs> Shall we have a look at it? Yes, let's have a look. We'll do that. I shall put the glass out of the way, go to close you up you can, and auto to it. Mm. And here it is, the Puri tank. There it, there it sits in all its glory. Um, very, very similar in construction to many, many other things that we've seen. Um, it's a bottom coil cartomizer. This one I filled up like a fool. You know, when you know you're going to do a show mm. and you think, oh, I need this empty. Yes. yes. And you get it down to empty, and then it gets to like half past six, and you think, I want to use it. Mm. So we fill yes. it up. Well, that's what I did. Um, however, so I what's in it? Uh, 36 milligram RY6. Oh, right. Thank God for that. 50, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to you. But let's, uh, let's take it to bits, and you can see the construction. Very, very similar. To oh, what like we've seen, Evo. yeah, it's like the Evod. It's almost identical to the Evod. In fact, I think it'll take Evod coils, right? Um, which is fine. Um, very, very similar construction. Exactly the same methodology for filling it. Um, it is, however, Pyrex. It's Pyrex right, glass. Right. Yes, and comes in this nice box. Mm. Ah. Um, I like that word glassomizer, that's a new one. Complete with its own little drip tip look. Mm -hmm. Which is oh, actually I like oh. that drip tip. It's quite smart, isn't it? It is. Um so I shall I shall put it together with its drip tip. Um I've been using it it comes from esigs.co.uk. Right. Cam's place. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been using it for about 
well, a little over a week actually. Mm. And it's, uh, yeah, it's actually serving me very well. I've, I've been using it mostly on this, uh, on the EVIC and it's doing the job really rather nicely. Mm. So you fill it down the side as with, as with this. Like yes. yes. Like the EVOD, like the, uh, um, I forgot the name of that now. The, uh, Pro Tank? Kanga. The Kanga Pro Tank, Kanga, yes. yes. Um, bought five mils in there. And you held it upside down and whatnot, and there was no leakages. None. Absolutely. Have a blast with five it. Five mils in there. Five now, mils. That's, I think, three. Three, three and a half. Three, three, three and a half, three yeah. And a half. Five mils in there. Oh. No coughing, look. Oh. Do that again so, so you don't cough. Maddie Paulus is saying that his 20 mil bottle of Bite Extra has lasted six months. He saves it for special moments. Well, it's heaven compared to Bite Extra. That's one thing for sure. Blaze is asking, has it got glue in it? Uh, no. Not that I can see. I have to see. Not that I can see. Oh, I like the tip. It's, yeah. it's, it's a nice tip, isn't it? And it's very flavourful. Mm. The flavours. Yeah, glorious. Very, very yes, yeah, flavours glorious. Slightly, um, slightly cooler than you might get with a, a shorter tank. Mm. Do you think that's length. to do with the air intake? No, I think it's to do with the length of the stem. In order to get that five million, it's mm. quite, uh, it's quite huge. Mm. I mean, it's probably worthwhile sticking that and an iClear 30 and... Uh, That's quite a, 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 a soothing experience. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. I've been dodging backwards and forwards between that and the Vision Victory. <coughs> Have you tried a Vision Victory? I've seen the Vision Victory, but I haven't tried it. Well, I've got one here. Um, and again, the, co the construction is... I don't know, I went, I went through it when it came Try in. Try it again, back to, back to the camera. Um, the construction is, is, is quite similar, really. Um, press the right button, David. There you go. Um, usual routine, as you might expect. It's got brilliant vapour production. It's, yeah, it's so cracking. It's, it's working really well, yeah. Uh, but the Vision Victory is pretty much, again, actually, I, would be, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they would take the same coils. Probably. Um, it's again. very, very similar setup. Similar sort of routine, slightly different dimensions, um, but it's the same kind of filly uppy job. Um, and, and vision stuff, we all know about vision stuff anyway, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of people using it very <coughs> successfully. Mm -hmm. So I've been, I've been backwards and forwards between the two, the Vision Victory and the, uh, the Puri Tank, and, uh, and the iClear 30, because yeah. I'm, I'm looking at what to take away. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking, while it would be lovely to have kind of the, the all the Genesis stuff, and because mm. I really do like yeah. the Genesis, mm -hmm. uh, the potential for failure, you know, trying to recoil and re-wick uh, after thirty-seven pints. Mm. Well, you've got well, to well, I, I, I thought about that as well. When you think about can, like when you're in like that heat, can you really be bothered when you're chewed and you're on holiday? And do you really want to go through a rigmarole of making up a new wick and coil? So therefore, I just took vision, and it made it all the more pleasant in the experience when I got home, and I picked up the Argatea, and I thought, ah, oh, that's more like it. Well, it's funny, you probably didn't hear about my experience the first night, uh, taking a stock of adapters, mm. and uh, I thought, oh, well, I better charge it overnight. So I, uh, you know, screwed it onto the, 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 the charger, and touched it, and I got an electric shock, and I thought, "Oh God, ah, it was." No, no, no. Yes, oh I couldn't. I th so um, I changed adapters, and it had been the adapter that had. Uh, that. Aye, oh, aye. Wow. Aye, quite a sharp. Uh, That's definitely, shock. I would, a, a brilliant tank. I'm loving it. And that's you go be taking that with you. <coughs> oh, the the pure tank is yeah. definitely coming with us. Um, I'm liking it a lot. As I yeah. say, it's from asigs.co.uk. Mm -hmm. uh, the from capacity's Camp. impressive, oh, isn't it? Well, it I is. mean, you know, for a bloke like me, five mil. Mm. Yes. Um, it's that on the EVIC, mm. in, the, in the, the, 
the cargo pocket, yeah. spare battery mm -hmm. in the beach bag, mm -hmm. diddle off, and you're good to go, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, what you know, b because of the, the kind of the the stress stress free environment of being away. Yes. I, I know from uh, last year when we went out, I took 250 mils of juice for the mm. three and a half weeks. Um, I thought it was wise sort of do. Mm. Um, being on 10 mils a day as I was, and I brought about 100 mil back. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take 200 mil this time, mm -hmm. um, and I probably won't get through that, but that'll probably yeah. save a pair of us. And the bite extra just for those, yeah. those, those moments. Um, and Jill these, was using the same supply, was she? Uh, well, now. I took took the eighteen milligram for Jill. Yes. Um, now, whip it up sixty nine. Is saying, will I be stealth vaping on the plane, Dave? Does you? I mean, the pair of you have just been out, so I'm going to ask you the question: What did you do for the flights? Um, on the way there, <laughs> I stealthed. Um, now, hang on. Be you need to define stealth because there'll be people watching this haven't got a clue right. what you mean. Well, actually. On the way there, when we were at the knees, we were get, uh, I got some disposables, so I took the disposables for on the plane rather than have the the evic, because I didn't I didn't want to draw attention. I, that wasn't the the route. I just wanted to do it quietly without drawing attention to anybody. So I had a little um, dispos disposable uh, it was a menthol flavour, and um, on the way there, I stopped. Now, if anybody who's watching and don't know what stealth is. Stealth is being able to vape without producing any vapor upon exhaling. And there's a knack to it. And some people have different ways, and the way I do it is... Does calm. No, that was Keith calm. Does calm. Inhale. Inhale again. Hold it. How many lungs you got, like? <laughs> Did that work? I couldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Right. Do it again. 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 Inhale. Inhale. He just exhaled when he spoke. Inhale again. Nout. 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 Not a thing. Well, that's what Keith does normally. And it's though. method called the double inhale. <laughs> well, that's the way I found out, which was from uh, vaping point. Right. Well, there's others. There's all kinds well, of. Well, I just abstained. Well, you you what? didn't vape on the plane. No. Nope. Abstemious. No. Yeah. I didn't yeah. vape all the way through. <coughs> I only did it when I felt I needed to do it, which wasn't that all that often. So I didn't continuously vape the whole four hours, 45 minutes. I only felt like I wanted to do it when it, I needed to do it. Well, I should be sitting with something like that, mm. not pink, has to be said, because mm. I don't want to make the boys wink. And anyway, they don't match top and bottom. No. Collar and cuffs don't match. No. It's never good when the collar and cuffs don't match. <laughs> Clive C said, can we see Daz stealth on the bite extra? Um, <laughs> oh, <d> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> just no. No. Damn. No. What I'll be doing, um, I, will, I will have the in-flight magazine on my little tray. Mm. Right? And open at the crossword. Right. Like you do. And uh, if any of the trolley dollies come past, I'll just be... Trying to work out what's five across. Right. And, oh. uh, and what have you. Just working out what's five but across. Do you, do you find the, the air purification system helps? Because, I mean, you're in a pressurised situation. No. A and I'll tell you why. Whilst I was sitting there on the way back, and this is how I got the blowout fever. Because I, when I vape, I tend to, I do this, I go. So like, yes. I'll hold it and then I'll inhale. Yes. That's not good on the plane. Because what the air purification system does, it doesn't allow you to inhale it. You open your mouth and go, it sucks it out your mouth. Right. And see, you end up with a load of vapour in front of you. Right. Um, I've got to ask the question, who the hell are you flying with? That was with uh, Thomas Cook. Oh. So Thomas Cook sucks it out of your mouth. And honestly, I, I literally, I held <laughs> the vape and I was about to inhale and I opened my mouth and the purification, literally, it, the pressure, it just, all the vapour came out of my mouth and I went. 
And the, and the girl sitting next to me, she wasn't bothered. She, she perfectly knew that I was doing it. And she looked, and, and then after that, I was just kind of like, right, well, if I'm going to do it, That's I'll do the it. That's a trouble, you see. You're sitting that close together yeah. and often sitting next to a complete stranger yeah. mm-hmm. in very close proximity. Mm-hmm. That's very... Well, uh, actually, on the way back, I was sitting between two strangers. Me and Alan had separate seats. Right. So, right. Uh, yes. they've, they've, they've been talking in chat again. And they're saying DD will be on an iPad anyway, so the pen scam is unlikely to work. But Vapen Viking has come back and said he could pretend it's a stylus midge since egos work as a stylus anyway, which is perfectly true. Ah, oh, yes, of yes. course. Oh, yes. I mean, this is what I did last year. Right. It's exactly what I did last year. I was sitting there with the crossword. Um, I had what well, it would be a vision ego. I think I had with me last year. Mm. So what did you do in the airport at each end? Oh, clouds. Oh, yeah, I was the same. I vaped openly and proudly in the airport, even when waiting for the flight, um, at the check-in desk. In I Newcastle, and yeah. right. I right. tell you what, we'll take some adverts and then I'll tell you the story of when I went through. Okay. Right. And you can tell the story of when you went mm-hmm. through. And then you can tell the story of when you went through. <laughs> We will get an hour out of this. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Seat the Six sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back in the room here on Thursday, the uh, 25th of July with Daz, Keith and myself, Dave. Um, yeah, we've just had a quick read through chat and oldie git. Whilst we appreciate the challenge that V, Daz and Keith should nasal inhale the lime bite extra so that you will at the next knees meet. When I mentioned that to Daz, he said he was going to cancel the next knees meet. <laughs> this is not happening. <coughs> Apparently he's not, he's not really keen. Not really keen. And I can't say I blame them. But yeah, airports and stuff like that. Who's going to start? You start. I'll start. When we went last year, I was a bit... Like the first time I'd, I'd taken a cigs across to Lanzarote. It was getting on for four years ago now. And I took little stick batteries. They were 901s and 510s. Oh, those. And the heat heavy. killed them. Uh, they just wouldn't hold yeah. charge. They just would not hold charge. They were all black. Mm. No chance. So, during the course of the day, I bought Marlboros. Mm. On a night when it was cool, and I'd had them charging in the fridge, <laughs> of stupid places, uh, I could use them. It was cool enough, they would hold a little bit of charge, and that was fine. So on an evening, it was okay, but during the course of the day, there we go. Next year, we took egos and stuff like that. And when we went through the, the security, it was a case of, uh, excuse me, sir, could you explain what these are, please? Electronic cigarettes. Oh, how do they work then? Well, it's a battery and a little heater, and it creates a kind of a vapour, a steam, a vapour. Like, it's a bit like a kettle, but with a bit more kick to it. Right, aye. Oh, why, well, fair enough. On you go, bang. 
lovely. Last year, mm. right? Yes. Do you know you know how it goes? Can we have each of your your phones <coughs> in a separate yes. box yes. and everything take else? Take your belt off. Yes. Yes. I take your shoes off. <coughs> you've got a <coughs> genital piercing. Take that out. Thank yeah. God they called the kid George and not Albert. <laughs> um, oh, all of that. Okay. What? <laughs> Carry on. Oh, I'd have lost the bet. <laughs> I had a bet on George, they had the bet on Albert, and oh, you know right. what the forfeit was, don't you? Well, oh, no, no, I'm crossing my legs at the thought. Yeah, well, so was I, thank God mm. the kids called George, and yes. it was Albert, I'd lost, never mind. Um, so, yeah, you get everything out, and you shove it in all the boxes. And I thought, well, just to be on the safe side, I know what I'll do. So I put the GG and various other bits out, mm. right? And they go through the, the little yes. scannery x ray do hickey, what's its name yes. thing. Mm. And when it comes out the other end, the bloke's standing there and he goes, uh, what's that one? He says, what's that one what? Says, that, that, that one, I haven't seen one of them. I says, oh, it's, it's a JJ. Oh, he says, you bugger, that looks canny. Is it, it's better than an ego, is it? I says, aye, do you want to go like? He says, no, but I hadn't, I'm on duty, but uh, where'd you get them? I thought, okay, we're all right here then, we're fine. And we were sat at, you know, the little salmon bar thing mm. where you get your overpriced sandwiches mm -hmm. before you go. And we sat there and great clouds and everything floating all over. Nobody said no. boo to a goose. Mm. Your, is your experience? I was the same because Alan's really like, don't want to vape in public, don't want to vape in public. If it's got no smoking, I'm not going to do it. And I'm like the complete opposite. I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to do me, it. That's me, you see. And uh, we, we got in here because we're standing outside and then um, I went all sort of So we went in, we went to the, waiting at the check-in desk and I pulled out my AVIC and then I was going, what are you doing? I went, I'm vaping and if anybody comes over, the told us about it. And I think two people in front stopped and looked and realised what it was and then just looked ahead again. Got to the check-in desk, booked in, went through departures, no problem. Says, can you, you know, same as you, can you remove all electrical devices, please, including chargers out of the bag and put them in the box? So I did that and moved my iPad and put it all. E sick, the lot, that all went through. Nobody said anything. Got into departures, strolled around for a bit with me, Evic hanging out my mouth, and then uh, nobody said anything. And then till we got on the plane. Same coming back, Larnica. Well, Larnica, what happened was when we went, Alan says go and buy a paper. Is that not for bruises? What, Larnica? Arnica. Oh, you sorry. <laughs> when we went to Larnica, when we're coming back from Larnica and went to buy a paper, it says, oh, there's a, there's a desk around the corner and they were selling eagles. Oh, well, there you are. They were selling them 50. 50. By, by, by the way, I, 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 I think I probably need to mention this because we're watching chat. <laughs> Apparently, Lal does everything in public. Really? Leanna Lawless, oh. she says she does everything in public. Right. Well, you see, I must be a timid guy. Uh, uh, are you? A timid guy. Why? Right. Go on, tell me. Well, uh, <laughs> as I was explaining earlier, I, I packed the stuff in the case and I had a packet with two or three cigarettes in and I had one outside of the airport um, and then uh, abstained until I got to Malaga and then had the other cigarette when I went out to Mind, I was clamming by then. I'll bet you but, were. But uh, I managed. Well, I mean, it's a, for, for me, it's a four-hour flight. Yeah. But yes. it, it sounds, you know, when they, can you not go without for four hours? Is yeah, it, no. But it isn't four hours. It's like saying, well, it can isn't, you go is it? without it's air not. for four hours? No. But it's not it's just not. four hours. Mm -hmm. Because if, if, you, if, you, if you take into account that the majority of the airports don't have smoking areas, mm -hmm. so when you go in, mm -hmm. into the departure lounge, if you abide by the smoking regs, mm -hmm. well, you're stuffed, aren't you? Because yeah, you're going exactly. you've got to be there. Is it what two, three hours before you go? Yes. yes. So that's that, and then you've got to wait at the other end for your, your baggage, case. Mm -hmm. yes. assuming yes. you get it, yeah. like Dave Kitson. Yeah, and you know how the smokers are in baggage because they're all the grumpy ones who want to be right at the front so they can get out as quickly as possible. See, there you go. Clive says, saying it's an eleven-hour flight to Thailand. There you go. 
I couldn't do eleven uh, hours on a plane without vaping. I Good. couldn't. I did. I did. I'd be what eleven hours? Bloody hell, man! Be crawling up the walls. Mm, mm. I'd be. I'd be yeah. smacking on the door saying, "Can somewhere. you not land?" Go to Australia <laughs> or somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't go to Australia. What? Oh, you know Simon Chapman's over there. Mm. So that for a game of soldiers is the honestly, it's the most prohibitionist yeah. state in the whole of the world. Australia, yeah. you can't do anything. Really? Oh, oh God! I didn't know that. Oh Lord, no! I mean, if you've got a if you've got a bloody apple with you, they'll charge you six hundred dollars. They'll they'll take it off you. Have you not seen that program? Oh, <laughs> didn't go on there. <laughs> did, did, every have you noticed everybody comes over here from Australia? There's a damn good reason why you wouldn't catch me going there. Even if Kylie Minogue was stood on every straight corner for Tuckman's Apney, there's no way. Not going. Not happening. Oh no. right, that's Australia. <coughs> He's not going to go there. Definitely not going to go there. Um, I did yes. What? <laughs> I'm just wondering because Leanna Lawless has put, I do still favour with the GD and Tin and Weathers. Oh, Tin. I was wondering what a GD was. I was wondering what you actually, I was. I didn't see the Tin bit. Well, because it was slightly out of focus, I was wondering what she was doing with GD in Weatherspoons. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> 10 hours to Cuba. Mm. Oh, Alan Fletcher's come up with vape on the bog. I think he means in the ablutions. Uh, but you've got to be careful with that because some of the detectors can pick it up. Some so do, hard, some do. We yes, well, we talked we're. about that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because yes. I remember you talking about using um, a certain protection, if I'm right, about. Mm -hmm. you, can buy, you can buy them in the airport yes. terminals, yes. Mm -hmm. You can put that over a. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you can. Yes. But, you know, you were talking about the air conditioning sucking it out of your mouth. Yes. Well, you. <laughs> Steady yeah. case, steady. Right. No, it's no, not that a, kind of show. Yeah, no, you're just imagining it. You know. I've just, I've just got visions of a trolley dolly coming down oh. the straw. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have none of that on board. <laughs> what are you doing, you dirty boy? Let me get a straw and take that out of your mouth. Good Lord about it. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Yeah, um, if, you, if, you, if you go into the loo, there's a permanent airflow through the loo itself. Mm. from the outside of the loo to the outside of the plane. So if you, you see, stick oh, your is, head down the toilet. You kind of stick your head between your knees and kiss your ass goodbye yeah. while you're blowing it out. Yeah. And you can with the sink as well. If you push the button on the sink where the water flow, the it air sucks. sucks it. So you can't breathe you it You've got it all sussed out. Yeah, honestly, so did. Sorted. There so you go. if we ever do a long flight, Keith, I'll keep you right, don't worry. I'll tell you what right. Disco Des has just said, he's vaped in Malaga Airport loads of times, he's vaped in a 747 bog and on Easy Jet loads of times there as well. Oh right, Malaga right. Yes. See, um, so you had no need to be discreet. You could you didn't yes. need to be discreet or anything. I'll remember that. Loud and proud. Next time I go. Loud and, loud and proud. proud. Loud and proud. Yes. We we need to do vape and pride marches. We do. Things like that. Oh. A, pride. Get get tuned in. By the way, you know about uh, ASIG War Cabinet on Twitter, don't you? No. Follow ASIG War Cabinet on Twitter. That's the team. It's putting all the protests all and right. demos all and everything. Right, okay. ASIG War Cabinet on Twitter. Okay. Talking about politics, and we've got to do. I want to go into this. Have you heard of the European Free Vaping Initiative? I'm oh bringing right. it up mm. right now. Call to arms. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's, there's this thing called uh, what's it, a citizen's initiative and EFVI is a citizen's initiative under EU regulations. Now here's the good bit. They've launched it and in a period of four or five days mm -hmm. what you've got to do is get a committee together of seven people. Let me read the names out. King Abilau from Hungary, Monica Calvetti Furst, Austria, Leo Kompas from the Netherlands, Dieter Dittervig from the Netherlands, John Miles Dolphin oh. from the UK, one of our own, Martin Durach from Poland, Scott Andrew Fitzsimmons, another one of our own, mm. right, from the UK, Marcel Goetz, uh, who I, I chat to quite a lot on Twitter from the Netherlands, Markus Kamara from Germany, Christian Pifko from Hungary, and Charles Pickett, Charles S. Vapes, again, one of our own from the United Kingdom, and Serge Poppelmont from Belgium. They are now on the Citizens Committee. And what needs to happen now is the need to collect signatures. Right. And they need a million signatures, right? 
and they've got to come from at least seven member states. Right. Mm. So start it now, people. Get up there. Once all of these signatures, the million signatures are reached, and I would like to think we can do it, and this is where the eSig Saves mm. Lives thing comes in as well, right? If we can get that all together over the whole of Europe, so that's 20% of everybody that's using, basically. Yeah. Then, Commission representatives will meet um, the committee so that they can explain in detail the issues raised in the initiative. They'll have the opportunity to present the initiative at a public hearing in the European Parliament and the Commission will adopt a formal response spelling out what action it will propose in response to the citizens' initiative, if any, and the reasons for doing or not doing so. Now, while the Commission is not obliged to act on it, it is an agenda-setting initiative which obliges the Commission to give serious consideration to requests made by us, the citizens. And this is a night of me sticking thumbs up left, right and centre. Well it's another brilliant idea. And I would urge everybody to get across to www.efvi.com E U. I'm just making a note of that. E F V I dot E U. I'm sure one of the team will clatter that one into chat so that everybody's got a link to click at the end of the show. E F V I dot E U. Go there, sign whatever you need to sign, get everybody you know to sign it. Let's see if we can get those million signatures by the time plenary happens. I would love to think that would be the case. Yeah. People are taking action all over the place, and I'm so thrilled by all of that. That's another good initiative. I think yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. I think it's amazing. And we're, we're getting very, very close to being out of time. Now, I should say, as I said earlier, right at the beginning of the show, this is the last of the years I was like this until September. We do not meet yes. again until then, uh, for I shall yes. be out of the country. But... The team is working on bringing all kinds of programming to you while I'm away. Um, the likelihood is I'll be on on Sunday and night. Um, Dave Kitson won't be doing his show, but we do need to test some new equipment with Mr. Dibley. So that could be a bit of a giggle. Oh, right. So that'll be fun um, because we need to test his Skype abilities with a new piece of hardware um, that he's going to be running. On Monday night, Gary's own show, Tin Your Tip, is on, and it promises to be an absolute cracker. At the moment, he's a very, very happy bunny, and apparently he's going through Kleenex at a rate of knots. He's so pleased with the equipment, okay. which is very, very good. Tuesday night, the star, that is Marco Van Basten, the man who interviewed Linda McAvan, mm. McAvan, Mc, whatever she's called, Linda McAvan. Um, He'll be back on Tuesday night. On Wednesday night, it'll be my last show before I disappear on holiday. Um, I know I've got guests. I don't know who they are, but I'm hoping it's going to be very, very special. And then I'll be waving bye-bye for three and a half weeks and I'll see you when I get back. But for the time being, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for doing everything you're doing to try and prevent e-cigs being taken off the market. You're all my heroes and I think the world of you all. Um, from the three of us here until the next time we see you have a wonderful summer enjoy your vaping vape on vape hard and don't let the bastards grind you down from the three of us good night good cheery night. Bye. bye take care bye. oh hang on before we go because i can't get there go to vape fest
Sponsors, Off the Haze Hour.